Okay. <clears throat> so I think that I, I scheduled this event and I have no idea how this thing works. So if you guys can hear me. If you write anything on your computer, you yeah, need to guys, get can you guys hear me? Hold on I write pretty much. So I have no idea how this works. Uh, let me see if I can. This actually might work fine. Uh, let me turn on my, my video. Oh, except that the video is not connected. One second. Always something, right? Okay. Oh, you know what? I unplugged it. That would help if I had my camera plugged in. Let's see, start the camera. Let's see if I can get my my good microphone on. Watch the camera on. Okay. Can you guys see me now? If you can, how's the quality? Can you see my hands moving? Okay. You know what? You guys probably can't say much because the live chat, the, the speed is a little bit slowed down, isn't it? Okay. Um, all right. Well, I guess this seems to work. Yeah? Okay. Um, I'm going to grab my valve and do a sound test. Thanks for coming a little early. Let's see if this works. Can one of you just quickly go and check to see if the live feed, like if the notification is showing on your normal channel homepage? So I'm not sure if people are going to be able to find this. I've just, I just Last time I'd used a different encoding thing. So I don't know if this is going to work or not, but we shall try it anyways. See myself here. That's good. Um, the chats, though. Where am I going to see the chats? I'm to figure out where I am on this. Put it right here. Okay, so now I can see. Oh, it notified you on your phone. That's fancy. Very fancy. Okay. How's the sound? Sound okay? <laughs> uh, and if you could also, let me just turn off slow. Well, no, I'll leave it on for now. Um, can you can you tell me how this sounded compared to the last time we did the feed? I know this little mode is kind of dumb. One second, let me just see if uh, I can switch that around. This is cool, actually. This doesn't require any particular technology, so maybe we'll just do it this way from now on. Uh, volume is probably good too. Let's see. Yeah, one second. I'm going to turn off this little mode for now. You can always turn it back on, right? I see. Okay. Sound is fine? Okay, excellent. You guys can say hello to each other. We're about to start in about a minute. Um, for those of you who are not part of my Facebook page, please join our, my Facebook page. And I've posted, I have not posted. It would help if I posted this. Okay, I've now officially posted the, the, the area, the thread where I'd like you to post your requests and I put a few instructions there. If you could take a quick look there and, and let me know if that looks right to you, that would be great. And uh, oh you know what? I have to edit this one. This is not the this is not the same one. Here we go. Advanced settings, here we go. So I'm going to turn off slow mode for a minute here. Okay, slow mode is off. You guys can go ahead and say hello to each other. And I'm going to turn slow mode back on once once we're officially started. I'll wait just an extra minute while I make sure everything is set up here, including making sure my sound is on. Yep. So I've got a I've got a two computer setup here. My wife said that if I show my laptop in this screen, like show it in the video right here, that it might do an infinite bounce back and forth. You know, like when you see two mirrors that are one in front, one behind. So I'm not going to do that. I don't want to screw up the the video. But uh, OK, I was just swatting a fly. Well, um, we can go ahead and start, I guess. So welcome, everybody, to my first official live feed. We ran a test on Monday, and I unwittingly turned on the live feed 
and people just started coming in. So I said, well, what the heck? So I thought I'd stay for five minutes. And about an hour later, we decided to, to end. That was really fun. So it was kind of like we already did a live feed. But this live feed is a little bit different. We're going to try to do this as a you guys request songs, and I'm just going to look at the songs and try to play them. And this is something that I think that very few violinists have either the guts or the ability or the insanity to try. And I think that I'm just one of those very special violinists who's willing to screw up in front of you and try to make it work. So um, I'm going to go ahead and turn the slow mode back on. And then I'm going to also open up the Facebook page to see uh, so that I can keep track of the requests. All right, so you guys can see the, the the explanation that I put on there where I have, I've asked you to follow a certain format. So I'm going to be looking for this particular format in your requests. So I see that um, we've got at least one request waiting now, which is good. So I have one in, in the background. Um, last time I had a couple of super chats. Thank you for those. I appreciate it. And uh, Gary B has sent me the a, um, a post. And so if you look at the post that I put on Facebook, you'll see that there's already a video on there. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this one. Now, Gary, this is a very, 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 very fast and hard piece. And um, Mark O'Connor does not play the sheet music. So with, with the sheet music that you sent me, thank you for it. I'm going to take a look at it. But it's not. In fact, um, Mark O'Connor in this video. Uh, in fact, let's see. Do I can, I? can I post this on the video? Mm, I didn't plan very well on this. Let's see if I can get you on watch page. OK, there you go. Right, so I'm going to pause this. And I'm going to go ahead and paste the link to you so you guys can see. Sorry, this will be a lot smoother next time. I just, it's the first time for everything. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the link so that those of you who are at home, you can go ahead and, and listen to this as well and uh, see how close or how far off I am. I think I'm going to approach this one in more of a tutorial format, it's just so I can figure it out. And I'll show you how I'm figuring it out on the fly. Let's see, so I'm in here. I'm going to paste this to you. So this is the link. You guys should be able to see the link. This is what I'm going to be playing. And I will also be answering questions and responding to comments during this in some fashion. And I'm not sure how that's going to work yet. OK, so this piece has a has like a train sound. So you got this uh and then it says pluck with middle finger, which is hard to do. And it, so the idea is that you're mimicking the train sound. Uh I, I wish there was like a chugga 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 chugga. Let's see. Chugga 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 chugga. Probably enough of the train sound. Now, this next part here, if you listen to the beginning of the video, so first of all, Mark Connor, Mark O'Connor puts in some extra, I think he had like James Bond and he had a little bit of the partita in E major. So you should listen to the video, it's really cool. So there's a technique here. And the technique is basically called, well, I'm gonna call it fiddling, because this is really hard, but uh, it starts off. <laughs> So basically, with this type of thing, first you have to figure out mentally, okay, what are the what is the order of of um, up bows and down bows? Where am I looking right here? So I got it down there, and then up here, and then down, up, and that's how I'm going to keep track of which direction I'm going. So. Now the other thing is I shouldn't be playing down here because there's too much uh, too much weight and I can't control my 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 tip if I'm down here. So I think fiddlers generally play this a little bit farther down like right over here. This is how much I know about fiddle. And it it's a lot easier if you do it from here and then you can get a little bit more leverage so that while you're playing this you have to keep your your pressure even so that when you are crossing strings, you don't lose the momentum. So for example, if I didn't do that, do you hear all the air, like all the, the pockets of, of silence in between each of the, both, uh, the string crossings? So that doesn't work very well. 
So I have to keep the pressure down. And also, if you notice, um, listening to this, that there's really only one finger that changes each time. So let's watch this, okay? So now I'm going to change my finger here. In fact, it only changes for like one note. Right there, and then it come right off. And here. So once you get that pattern down, really, if you look at my left hand, it looks like this. So I'm just putting my finger down like that. That way, once I've simplified this mentally, I can focus on the right hand, which is the one hand that I really need to focus on. With the right hand, I figured out that it goes down, and then up, and then down, and then up. So I know the emphases, the, the accents are coming in on the down and the up, and down and the up. And then um, getting the transition from the fingers here to the fingers here is pretty tricky. You gotta keep your fingers pretty close to the fingerboard like that. Lower the notes. All right, so I think I'm starting to get this up to, to uh, normal speed. So we go. Yeah, it's not too bad. And then the rest of this, um, we have this. Okay, this is really hard. Oh my goodness, these uh, bowings are very difficult. I see, so it's like, fiddlers really like weird bowings. I'm sorry, fiddlers. I feel like they're weird. You probably feel like they're normal and maybe my bowings are weird. So we'll just agree to disagree. But this this feeling of going up, down, up, down, up, down, up, it feels very foreign to me because usually in classical music or just general like, normal anime video game music i don't usually encounter this whereas i think for fiddlers this is pretty feels pretty normal so it just feels really awkward like let's see so i'm doing up. okay okay stay on it's just it just feels very uh, awkward um very difficult. So those are the techniques involved. Hopefully, um, those of you who have the technique to handle this, um, have at and, and try it out. But that is my very first request. How long was that? That was about uh, five minutes, maybe? Maybe six, six minutes? See if I can keep the requests to about that, that length, maybe a little bit shorter if I can, so I can get more requests in. All right, cool. Let me just answer a couple of these um, comments here. I see that we have some, let's see, what do we got? Yeah, the sheet music I can't link. Apparently, I can't share it through the through YouTube. So we'll have to figure out if anybody has any ideas on how we can share sheet music with each other, where it's not an online link. It's actually something that somebody uploaded and, and or emailed to me. Then we have to. That would make it possible for us to share it. I just I don't have a way to share it here. You can also email Gary B if Gary is willing to share the music with you guys as well. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, that your comments here. Let's see. And the tune is called Orange Blossom. You'll see it on the Facebook page where I have posted it and also the, the link to the video itself. OK, let's see what else we have. Um, name of strings. So I play on um, Thomas Dick Infeld dominant strings, and then I've got a, a Parazzi E string. They're pretty old, though. I need to replace them pretty soon. Um, I appreciate hearing people that have been affected by my videos. I appreciate that very much because sometimes it it helps me to to want to come back and to continue to to um, play for it on YouTube and so I will keep doing it as much as I can. Okay, next request. Let's see what we have on here. Mm -hmm. This is the part that gets makes me a little nervous because I don't know what you're posting. I've never seen whatever you're probably putting on here, and I may not have sheet music, so I may just have to do it off, uh, you know, by ear. So let's see. What we David Garrett, Furious. Mm -hmm. David Garrett. Okay, so you guys are, are Garrett heavy, aren't you? 
bunch of these. Um, let's see, who, how many likes do we have on these? Okay, no likes on any of these yet. So I get to choose, I guess. It's left up to me. Romeo and Juliet. We might we might do that one. I think I have a video on that already, though. I'm, I'm trying to pick stuff that I don't know. I do know Vinyelski's concerto number two. We'll maybe save that one for another time. But let's try one of David Garrett's. I, I hesitate to do this because they're hard. They're generally very hard. But let's see. All right. Oh, this. Okay, I see. He's on. He's on TV. Okay. So let me post the the link that I'm about to look at. So it's a, it's a nine minute. Can you guys tell me where in the video um, this the part starts where he's actually playing? Because I don't want to spend much time trying to trying to find it. But I'm going to go ahead and post the link. It's the David Garrett Furious. You know, I've seen this video before, which means that it's um, it's that popular because I don't usually look for links. But here is the link. Uh, you know what? That link right there might be the link to the sheet music itself. Oh, thank you for putting sheet music. That is excellent. So that's the sheet music. And then the actual video is right here. How do I get this video? Let me just copy it here. All right, so the video is this one right here. Yeah, of course it's fast paced. I, I'm sure it is. I'm sure you guys like to like make me sweat. Let's see. So let me take a quick listen to it. Speaking, 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 speaking. All right, so now I'm at mid, like three minutes, four minutes, uh, five minutes, still talking. It's talking, 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 talking. Is it really short? I must have missed it. Okay, so I think I might have found it. Let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'll just do it off the sheet music. I don't want to waste time on this, uh, trying to find the, the part in the video. So here's what the the linked sheet music has in it. Uh, let's see. Now, it looks really, really fast. Let's see, 180. 180 is um, triple the speed of a second. So second. So we'll do it. Um, so second would be, so, so double that would be. So triple it B. You guys are gonna kill me. So and then it's in, so I'm I'm noticing it's in B flat. And then uh, oh my goodness, what is this? Okay, I gotta figure this out. See the rest of it. Hold on. Something like that. Oh, I just got to be easier than me to do this. Sorry about that. The scrolling. to the repeat. And there's just a lot of uh, the same stuff again. Uh, all right, let me let me talk about how to do this, okay? Because I think you guys might like to do like to try this, and I also just broke a, a hair. Give it away. Uh, yes, this is very this is very intense. I can see why it's called furious. Okay, let's talk about that that opening. So if you're good at scales, it's just a scale. Oh, I was doing an E natural. This is E flat. So slowly. So what what uh, scale is that? So for those of you who are music um, theorists, theorists, 
uh, that is G minor scale, and it is um, the what's it called? It's not. It's harmonic. No, natural minor. Natural minor. It's where you don't raise the last the seven. So that's that. Now, right here, what I'm doing is I'm looking at the top two notes and fingering them on the D string and the A string because the only way to hit the D, the G string. Uh, during those chords is to have it on the D and the, and the A. Now, when you do a chord like that, in order to hit all three of them, you do have to have a little bit of, sometimes you have to have a little bit of air. And in this case, I'm starting the the piece, this passage with the, the um, bow coming in from the air. And I'm also bouncing my bow specifically because I want to hit all three of those each time. So like... This is kind of like you're accompanying yourself. And so you want to hear those top chords really clearly because you're going to hear this. But while that's happening, I'm also accompanying myself with the bottom part. So it ends up sounding like this. Next part here with the the um, D and the an F sharp. So I'm alternating between the melody and then the the open Ds. So and then you want to play the Ds, the open Ds themselves, a little bit softer, so that you can really emphasize the the melody. If you want to make it sound even nicer, you add a little vibrato if you can on the, the um, every other group of twos. So you have the, the, whenever there's a double stop. There you go. So that was about, oh, I took a little bit longer than that one. That was about eight minutes. Okay, excellent. Good job, guys. Let's see. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to balance this out. There's there's going to be some ex explanation and some talking like between you and me. So I'm looking at the comments now. Uh, let's see, what is the next one? Okay. Next uh, live stream, we'll talk about that at the end. I think because I have to decide um, how hard or easy this is to do. We could do another live stream if this is uh, easy. Um, we could do it fairly soon. Um, if it's taking a lot out of me, which it might, then we might postpone it a little bit longer so that I can recuperate. Okay, let's see, Chartis. Let's see. So you guys can like these videos. That will help a lot so that I can pick the ones that have more likes. In this case, it looks like the, there are a bunch that are the same number of likes. And so I'm thinking that maybe this uh, crystallized Lindsay Sterling would, would be interesting. She's done some pretty cool stuff. Okay, so crystallize. Let me... Now, if you want to grab the link, it'll, it'll save me some time if I don't have to keep pasting the links. So if one of you would go ahead and paste the link into the comments for this one, I'm going to do the crystallize Lindsay Sterling request here. Let's see what that sounds like. Okay, here we go. Oh, and I see that there's um, sheet music here. All right. Uh, I think I can read it. I'll try. All right. Uh, so I've never listened to this. I don't even know what it sounds like, but I'm going to just see. I'm just going to take a quick listen. Oh, I see. It's slow. All right. Let's try this. So I'm going to skip all of the, the tremolos here, and I'm going to start on this.
do maybe one more page of it. If I can find it. Okay, sure. And I think I'll stop there. Um, I can't read the rest of this. It's just a little too hard. I can't tell where the, the lines are. But there you go, crystallize. Thank you very much. Let's see. Okay, I'm, I'm going to quickly just respond to a few of these. My favorite piece in concerto for violin. I'd say a, a tie between Tchaikovsky and Beethoven. So those are my favorites. And those are, it's mostly because I played both with, with orchestra. And so I've had the experience of, of, uh, of having the solo, which um, I played the Beethoven when I was 16 years old. And I played the Tchaikovsky, I think when I was 25 with, uh, with two different orchestras. So. Okay, well, thank you very much. I appreciate your enthusiasm on that. Okay, let's try another another request. I'm starting to move a little bit faster here so that we can get more requests in. I really appreciate it when you put sheet music. It helps me to be able to play it without having to spend too much time listening to it. But, you know, I'm open to also trying one by ear if needed. Okay, a crazy chartist. A crazy chartist, okay. That doesn't make me nervous at all. Let's see, there's no sheet music to this one, is there? So I'm just going to listen to it. Let's see what it sounds like. And while I'm listening to it, I'll I'll look at your comments too, so that you are not fully neglected here. Okay. Send it from Bleach. Okay, maybe I'll do that one just for fun in between. But it's not new. Like I'm trying to challenge myself to have to do these, you know, off the cuff by ear. Okay, let's see what this one sounds like. It's going to be scary, isn't it? Oh. I know this one. Maybe. I even know this guy. This uh, he's he's been on YouTube for a long time. All right, let's see how let's see how much I remember this. So you have to play it way up on the on the top. Um, yeah, he probably just played this a little bit differently just because he's he's Chuan Chuan Yun Chuan Yun Li, who is I remember seeing some of his videos. He did like a Mario video a long time ago and it was really cool. Okay. <laughs> does some crazy stuff. Okay, here's the part where it goes fast. Yeah, no, I'm not doing any of that stuff. So yeah, it's that really fast. You have to like, I don't even know why he does it. Part here, you have to like, you have to like lock your arm and lock your wrist and just do this, and just move your fingers and your bow as fast as you can. I just I can't think of any other way to explain it. I mean, like seriously, there's not enough time to think about. It. <laughs> 
And I think that some people can do this technique. I guess there's some like flexibility or um, body type that is required because there are some people that just cannot play fast. And there's some people that just comes naturally. And I'm probably somewhere in between. I don't know, something like that. There you go. So thank you very much. That is my bow. <clears throat> Let's try another one. OK, you guys have now posted. OK, let's see. Theme first movement concerto. Oh, yeah, so I was going to do a couple of these just fun uh, ones that I already know, because a lot of these I do know. But uh, Senna from Bleach. <laughs> And then the beginning of the Tchaikovsky. Let's see. Sibelius, I have. I have played Sibelius. I love that. Just, I'm going to play a little bit of that again. Maybe come back to that one. Barber Concerto. I've never actually played the Barber Concerto, but I've heard it enough times that I could probably play a little bit of it. But let's go back and just take, double check, because I'm trying to do requests. I'm trying to do stuff that is, maybe you guys don't want to hear the requests. I don't know, but uh, let's see. La Ronde des Lutins. OK, we'll try this one. I think I've heard this one before. Oh, no, I've definitely heard this one before. G flat major scale in tenths. I may take you up on that one. Ah, okay, okay, got it. <laughs> just a lot of that. I, I love the ricochet thing. And I think my favorite part of that must be that harmonic. There's just something special about that. Just like that. You just kind of touch it and flick it off. And um, and there's something also about the, it's like the, me the, the timing is very fluid. You 
can't take this one too seriously either. In fact, I think it's supposed to be kind of funny. Let's see. Uh, introduction Tarantella. Ooh, I do not like that one. I do not like that piece. The Great Advisor I do like a little bit. Uh, it's a little scary, the opening. Um, I transcribed her Secret Garden written version. I could not find piano part, though. I don't think I transcribed the piano part, unfortunately. Sorry. I think I found that one off online somewhere. I'm not sure where. OK. Uh, Mozart Rondo. Is that the one that goes? Um... I think it is. Sure, but there you go. There's a little snippet of um, of the Mozart Rondo. Um, Sherlock theme. Okay, I thought about this one. Sherlock theme. Okay, I guess I'm just going to play stuff. I don't know. I, I was thinking that I could be challenged by trying to listen and play back, but I think it's really more fun just to play. I'm just going to play. You guys just start saying stuff that you want to play, and we'll just we'll just have fun. How's that? Um, Pure theme. I don't know that one. Unfortunately, I've heard it. Oh, I've already posted the music score. Okay, so I'm going to find the score for that one. Thank you for posting it. And let's see what we got. I assume that you posted on YouTube. If you, I mean, on uh, Facebook. If you haven't posted on Facebook, please do. And Mark, uh, this is from. Oh, I already lost it. Yeah, I don't see it, unfortunately. So, if you can repost it on the Facebook posts at the bottom, then I'll be able to find it easier. I just am not seeing it right now. No official sheet music aware of the transcription attempts. Oh, I see. Okay. Lulu and Shako's quirky encounter. Hmm, interesting. Yes, the stream should stay on the on the channel. It should turn into a video. So okay, okay, let's two oh two on the video. Two oh two on the video. Okay. No official sheet music. Okay, there's a score. Here's the YouTube video. Let me just see what this sounds like. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I like this a lot. Okay. All right, let me just try this this opening. Okay, so we got uh Okay, let's look at this again. So I'm just going to do one more line of this. Very nice. I like that. That's it's quirky. It's uh, yeah, and the I like the accidentals that happen and just sort of that ricochet feel of the triplets. So thank you for sharing that. Um, introduction: Rado Capriccioso. Page. That's just nasty. Let's see. Um, it goes like a. Uh... Oh, that's not right. Um... And then it does this. Uh... I don't think I can remember it. I'll just start it off. Thank <laughs> you. 
something like that, right? Whew. That is kind of tiring. All right. Um, Don Juan, 10 G flat major intense. Okay, fine. G flat major. Wait, G flat major? Ooh, because you want it to be high. I get it. So, um,. That's not right. Let's see. So I want to start on. Here we go. I'm not even going to come back down. Forget it. <laughs> All right. Um, I have a Kuhn, K U N, Kuhn, by a shoulder rest. Let's see. National Anthem of Brazil. I, I should learn that sometime, shouldn't I? I should. Okay. Um, Chacon. I think I played the Chacon the other day. Polonaise. Is, wait, the D major one. I might know this one. <laughs> There's also the other one, which is um, in A major. And I too. Uh, yeah, so there's that one too. Star Spangled Banner. Why not? making this too easy for me. There's my C major scale. Chartist, Carl Flesch. Oh yeah, the Carl Flesch thing that we did last time. The volume can turn on A major, but on the G string. <laughs> you are crazy, my friend. Uh, I did do it one time, though. I, maybe this is what I'm talking about. string so that is um that's a fun thing that you can do vieux tongue can follow the number five i've actually played this one a long time ago it starts out really slow oh, i can't remember it though i played it in college i played it with the orchestra in college and I, I can't remember it off the top of my head <laughs> Some other stuff that happens there, I can't remember. But see, I did remember a little bit of it at least. I think I was hearing somebody wanting to do a uh, Scotch fantasy. I've played this one in college as well with the orchestra. Let's see, this one starts off. Um, oh, shoot. I, it's in. The, it's on the top of my, the tip of my bow. It's going to bother me. It's really going to bother me. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll maybe if I can remember that one. I can remember it. I'll play it. 
Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Uh, I will do this for my daughter. Because she's playing Twinkles right now. She actually passed Twinkles, but she just did. I butchered the one piece that I should have been able to play. Ah! Play a brook for us. Um, let's see. any of you to try this, what I'm doing right now, because these are pieces I have not thought about, not listened to, not even had on my radar for like 20 years. I No joke, I'm 34, I probably played that when I was 12. That's like 22 years. I'm getting old, I'm getting really old. Okay, um, hardest piece that I know. Uh, yeah, well, you know, the Vuitton, the Vuitton concerto, no, no, Vinyowski concerto number one. That is probably the hardest one I've, I've, I've seen. It starts off with tenths, I think. quickly just check and make sure I'm not missing any of these um, requests because I noticed one of you mentioning that I should be playing requests too. So let me look. I do play piano. I played uh, a couple of years in high school, no, middle school. Took a couple lessons for, or at least a couple years worth of lessons. Should have played more. You know, life gets in the way. Kind of forget. Okay, I see a bunch of these requests now. I should be doing this. Pagnini Concerto number one. Is number one Oh, no, that's not it. Um, all right. Let's listen to this one. I'm just going to quickly listen to this one. Oh, yeah. Okay. This is a, oh, this is a cadenza. I don't know the cadenza, unfortunately. are now asking for like Zelda and video game music. Let me do one more of these to make sure I'm not disrespecting the, the post. I have to do some of these post ones too. Let's look at uh, St. Paul's Suite 4. Wait, let me just make sure nothing else has been like liked really high. Not that I notice. Okay, uh, 
uh, St. Paul's Sweet Finale. Let me see what that sounds like. Gypsy theme. Yeah, I have, there are a bunch of these. Oh, okay, I know this. I like this one. <laughs> And then it's like, uh, what key is it? Uh, anyways, it's. Have like green sleeves on top of there. Is that green sleeves? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've been playing since I was five and a half. Any tricks to avoid the whistling nose on an open E string, especially in playing chords? Whistling noise mean like, is it like a squeak? Because I don't. Sometimes my violin squeaks. You've actually heard a few squeaks, and I think the squeaks. Sometimes you can't avoid it when there are when your strings are really old, and so my strings are getting a little bit old. I probably should should um, replace them at some point. I'm going to stream until nine, which is in about twelve minutes. So I've got another twelve minutes, and I got to go to bed, or rather take over so that my wife can get some sleep, because we have a baby who is two and a half months old, and so me doing this is a little bit of a uh, a. Um, Extension, not extension. It's like a stretch for me a little bit. But you can see that I'm like really excited and really tired at the same time, which is the right um, degree of uh, of focus. Okay. Uh, Hedwig's theme. That one is kind of in between. Like that comes. That kind of went in one ear out the other when I did the video. So I don't remember that one very well. Let's see. So that was St. Paul's theme. What else do we have here? Bazzini. I think I already played the Bazzini, didn't I? Yeah, I did. I did play the busy. So I think I've gotten most of these requests now in. I'm not seeing any new ones. Let me just refresh my page to make sure. Frog in a tree. Uh, I will not disown my children if they cannot play Mendelssohn before first grade because I'd have to disown myself. And that would not be very nice. Let's see. How's it? Uh... should have on hand anytime because it is a cool piece. I like it. All right. Uh, did you want to play Tchaikovsky? I did play a little bit. Um, I could play a little more if you want. Let's see. How about... Um, Nice. I really like that it's kind of spooky, the spooky feeling. Um, do you know one of the most cool openings of the pieces is the Sansom um, Concerto Number no. Three in uh, what key is it? B flat major? No, minor. Uh, I can't remember exactly what it's called, but it starts off. Um, <laughs> starts off. Another one that's cool is Lalo. Very cool. Oops. All right. I'm going to take a look at what you have here. Um, did you play 
in your state orchestra. Yeah, I did. I um, and I did all state. I did all eastern, and I did all nationals. Those are the three levels. So all state starts off, and then and then from all state you go to eastern or nationals. They alternate every year. And so the two years that I was eligible, the first year I did um, eastern, the second year I did nationals. So a little bit of trivia for you there. Um, I do. I live in upstate New York, so it's east coast. Let's see. Swallowtail, I don't know what Swallowtail. Chairman's Waltz. Um, okay, I, I played Perlman's Chairman's Waltz before, but there's a video for that, so you can always watch the videos. That's not quite as fun, huh? Glazunov. Ooh, I know this one. I don't know piano concertos, unfortunately. C sharp minor. Mm -hmm. What is Jackie Tar? I see the Jack. I've seen that a couple of times now. I don't know. Mills open five. Yeah. So these are hard because I don't have any re flame or reference for some of these. I know if I don't know the, the title, then I'm not going to be able to play it. But I've got seven more minutes. So I'm just going to look at the request thing one more time. I know Flight, Flight of the Bumblebee is a hard one to just kind of do off the cuff. There's just so many. Um, it just kind of sounds like a little buzzing bee, but it's it's kind of kind of like that, I guess. I don't know. I'm just moving my fingers. Um, why did I pick a, a flat major as the key to play in? Because in our hymn book at church, it's an A flat major, and so it just so happened that I thought of the hymn book, saw the music in my head, and played it in that key. That is the that is the. The reason, the exact reason why I did it that way. It's always interesting. Senbon Zakura by Lindsay Sterling. I have no idea what that is. Um, okay. And okay. Oh, I did not know that the uh, the original was written in A flat major. So there you go. I have I have paid homage to the original. Zelda. Okay, Zelda. So. I have a video for that one if you want to watch it. It's just it's been such a long time I can't remember how it starts. Some of them I remember off the top of my head. I don't remember that one. Song of Healing. Don't know that one. <laughs> I work at our local Renaissance festival, and I have to say that walking up behind people dressed as Link and playing that theme gets some hilarious results. You have to explain that a little bit, Marie. Just just one example of what that's like. Um, and yeah, if you can um, if you can link sheet music on Facebook, then maybe I can look at it. I am running out of time though. I've got four minutes left. Horace, Horace Staccato. I know I've heard of that one, and I think I've looked at it before, but I don't have that in my fingers, so I don't think I can play that one right off the top. Okay, let's see. Um, okay, I'm just looking through the, the results quickly here, and you know I should just set up a a site to like code a site to just be able to manage these requests a little bit better because this is pretty hard to, to, to keep straight because there's just so many requests I have to keep, like Facebook's just not very nice about it. I have to keep refreshing the page. I don't like doing that. Okay. Um, and so I don't see any new requests here on the Facebook page. That's where I was hoping people would post. Maybe it's that you can't, I don't know. Um, Pasacalia.
promise that one's a lot more interesting, but because I don't have the other half, like the cello part or the viola part, then it kind of comes off a little bit boring. So apologies, but that's how it, that's how it starts. It's kind of cool. I do like the double stops, the trip, the third snare. Dance with Goblin, I've heard of, but I have not played it. Lullaby Rezabool, I do have a video for that one, and I don't remember the theme off the head, off the top. I think I just sight read that one, so I just don't remember it. Um, Risho Espanol. Rook Violin Concerto, I did I did play a little bit of that one. Um, not for the princess, thank you, Westwood. Uh, I, so I'm, I'm looking through these requests right now. I'm trying to think of any of these that I know off the top of my head. I don't think I have them. I don't think I have any of these in my fingers. But these are not classical, and so it's kind of, you know, uh, hit or miss, I think, when you're trying to do something that's not classical, because it just depends. You know, our brains prune, they prune stuff. And so if it's not something that's important to you, if you haven't committed it to long-term memory, like I have for all these classical pieces, then your your brain just just kind of kicks it out of your brain. So I don't have those pieces in my brain anymore. For Elise, okay, sure. There's my little uh, improvisation version. Impromptu, maybe, is the better word. Uh, Chrono Trigger. Um... watched a video before I started this live stream of Chrono Trigger, and it was um, the, a three-hour speed run, which was totally freaking awesome. And at the end, they took advantage of a glitch to kill the to kill the last guy, the Lambos. Anyways, I love Chrono Trigger. I love Final Fantasy, Link. Uh, any of those particular s series um, are awesome. So thanks for bringing back some memories. Final Fantasy seven or nine. I know we're going over time now. I really want to play some more, though. Do you think my wife will mind? Maybe I'll just, uh, she's probably watching the feed right now. I'm sorry. I, I just want to play a couple more if that's okay. Is that that's Tifa, Tifa's theme? Yeah, that's a nice song. Um, is there anything else that I know? And yes, I thought that was a that was an eclectic one. What's it called? Uh, something about burn burning something or other. Yeah. Well, those of you who need to go, um, thank you for joining us. Um, if I, I've played Carnival of Venice on the clarinet. Isn't that funny? I actually have a video on my channel of Carnival of Venice of with me playing it on the clarinet when I was ugh, eighteen, maybe. So you can check that one out. That that brings back some memories. Um, That's, I think, how it how it starts. But it's a lot easier on the clarinet because you can just finger it differently. Uh, Bioshock. I have a video on Bioshock, so you can watch that one. I don't have any Chopin videos because Chopin is not so great for violin. We don't have very many pieces from him. Do I have an electric violin? I have access to an electric violin. My little sister, Heather, has a 
uh, an electric violin. And so sometimes she lets me play on it. That's always fun. Uh, so you can like play really fast on this hand and just kind of move your bow a tiny little bit and all this sound just sounds, it just sounds amazing. Uh, I played clarinet from when I was 10 until I was 18, so eight years, something like that. Yeah, probably about eight years. And I played a little bit afterwards too. I didn't, I never played in college, although I did audition in college and I did get into the, I think I got into the, the marching band and I thought, eh, I don't want to play the marching band. So unfortunately I didn't do it. Um, Vama a la, oh yeah, I do have um, this Vama a la flamenco. I do have a video on that one. Don't remember how it goes off the top of my head, but I have it. There's a, there's a video of that. <sighs> Would it be possible to learn guitar, guitar solos in violin? Sure, some of them you can. Um, okay, I guess I need to I need to end. I will play Secret Garden because I see that as the and I, I recognize Alex. You've been around for a while, so thank you for posting that request. Thank you for all of you for coming. I, I hope this is fun. I am open to feedback. So if you want to send me some feedback on how this went, the best place to do it probably be on Facebook or yeah, probably Facebook. Just post some comments there. I've been trying to revive my Facebook page and apparently it's not very revivable, but I think if you guys are posting stuff there, then that will help me to, to get that back up to speed too. So I appreciate that. Um, Secret Garden. seems like an appropriate ending, doesn't it? Um, yes, thank you. Yeah, I appreciate your time. I appreciate everybody coming here and listening. I appreciate the time that I have to spend with my violin as well. I don't get much time with my violin, and this just brings back a lot of fond, fond, fond memories. You can tell, I think, when I play some of the classical music that I've played you know, in the past, some of the video games that I've played a long time ago. Very nostalgic. Very, very nostalgic. So, OK. Have a great night, guys. See you later. And now I get to figure out how to turn this thing off, which who knows how you turn these things off, right? I think I just start closing browser windows. Yeah, I'm just going to start closing browser windows. Good night.